hey everyone i hope you are doing really well in this tutorial we will learn about how to perform sharing configurations using nfs protocol which is network file system on freenets so let's get started first i'm going to log in to my freenets Okay, on the left hand side from this sharing, we will select Unix file share as Unix NFS shares. Okay, so click on add. From this interface, we will be able to add a Unix share. So basically, uh, Freena supports sharing pools, data sets, and directories over NFS. So in this case, clients use the mount command. To mount the share so mounted nfs share appear as another directory on the client system so in order to understand this first you need to remember some points regarding sharing over nfs first is in this case, clients need to specify the path when mounting the share. Like here we will create the share. We will also provide the networks who can access the share, the host uh, can access the share, right? But when clients want to access these shares, they have to mount it. Next important point is there are two kind of options that we have to choose when creating NFS share. The first is map root and second is map all. Now the difference between these two is in case of map root, it only restrict only root user permissions. So in this case, the map root option will restrict only root user permissions. Second option is map all. In this case, all clients permission means this will restrict permissions of all users or all clients. Now, the thing to note here is at one time we can either select map root or we can select map all. The next is we have the all directory options and we can only use all directory option once per share per file system. Now you need to know that in this case the pool or data set will be considered a unique file system. Individual NFS shares cannot cross file system boundaries means adding paths to share more directories only works if those directories are within the same file system. So this is another po point that you need to know. Next is all DIRS option. You will get an option which is all DIRS option can only be used once per share per file system. So these are the four points that you should know before creating NFS Unix shares, right? So here I have selected the interface. Here we have to select the path. So I already have this pool. I have two pools. So I can select this particular data set. Now what can happen is, suppose in this pool, I have two data sets. 
right so that's why if we select all dirs it can allow the clients to mount all directories in that data set suppose i'm selecting this data so the path that i've followed is this this i'm not mentioning any of the directories in that data set because this will allow client to access all the directories in this path right so here i'm selecting all dirs uh, let's go to the advanced mode here we can check the authorized network you can specify any authorized network but if you keep it null it will make allow the networks to access that particular share similarly i'm not putting any other ip address here next is map root user and map all user so i've already explained this map root user will restrict the root if user is selected map root group will sell, uh, restrict the root if group is selected map all will restrict all the clients all the users if user is selected and map all group will restrict all the clients or users if group is selected so i'm going to select map all user here and i'm going to oops select nobody here also I'm going to select nobody user and nobody group. Right? So, this is how we can configure our Unix shares, and thus we need to enable that particular service as well. Right? So, this share has been created now. Other clients uh, can access this share by mounting this on their system. I hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching.